Hey everyone, it's Angie and Andrew, and I want to stop by um, giving a quick um, video to let you know there's going to be a new so-called series beginning. Um, Andrew was kind of joking around with me over the weekend uh, about starting a series called Glazed and Confused. So I'm going to go for it. For those of you who don't know, um, I was diagnosed with muscular dystrophy about seven years ago now. I've had trouble since I was a teenager, but it wasn't until recently that I had received the diagnosis. And I'm to the point now where, because of the whole opioid epidemic in the United States, I can no longer receive any kind of medication to help with the pain. And because of people taking advantage of it and abusing it and the whole nine yards. So, my substitute for that has been medical marijuana. Now, I'm sure there's people out there that's going to freak out and, oh, it's a bad thing. It's a gateway drug, da-da-da. No, it is not a gateway drug. Not by any means. Is it without risk? No, there's a risk with everything. Uh, is it going to cause more problems with lungs and whatnot? It very well could. But right now, with I want to have a quality of life while I have life right now, not quantity. If that makes any sense whatsoever. Well, in using my nature's medicine, as I like to call it, because there's so many people that still have a stigma about it, um, we've realized that as my mind kind of relaxes, my painting and my art gets more loose and carefree, and it just kind of flows. And so I would like to share that with you. However, when I do, it's going to be just with music. Um, I don't use enough to get a high. I use enough until I start to feel like I'm at that high, and that's when I know for me it's time to stop. I have enough in my system that it's going to help with the pain for a few hours. But still, I can't quite form words, and I stumble a lot. And that's not completely from the marijuana. Not at all. I had a stroke three years ago and still word formation is hard for me at times. And getting those words out are hard for me at times. So while I'm talking, I'm going to go ahead and work on a project here. Um, I'm going to work on a bar bookmark, a Fabriano piece of paper here. A um, couple brushes. Princeton 12 pointed round, a size 6 silver and an inch um, Princeton, but I'm only going to probably use the end here if I use that at all. So I'm just going to do some loose watercolors here while I'm chit-chatting with you um, with some colors I already have on my palette. So yeah, with the stroke and um, with the muscular dystrophy, it slows down my breathing. Like when I get focused on something, my diaphragm has gotten to the point now where it doesn't want to respond. It's like, you know, I have to, hey, ding dong, you got to breathe. You can't just sit here. Um, most likely here within the next short while, I'm going to end up on my breathing machine um, all the time, not just at night. So with a lack of oxygen and the effects of the the marijuana um, speaking gets difficult sometimes and there's just a lot of factors so because of that I just I, I would like to do it um, with music if you have any questions please please feel free to ask leave them in the comments I try very hard to get to all the comments it doesn't always happen but I do try um, but yeah, I just, I, I wanted to 
because of Andrew's bright ideas. I like to tease him. Um, we're going to try this and see how it goes and see how much backlash I get and oh you shouldn't do this and you shouldn't do that and well that's bad for you and no I had made up my mind quite about Garsh Andrew no, 13, about 14 years ago as I was going through medical school um, training one of my thesis was on medical marijuana and its benefits and side effects and downfalls and all that and I had made up my mind at that point that if it ever came to a point in my life where I needed that, I was going to use it. I feel much safer using something that's been around in nature for years as opposed to some man-made chemical that I have no idea what's in it. So, well, I mean, I'm sure they do, but, I mean, what are those effects going to have long term? So, just my opinion my body and that's how we're treating it right now and it works for us and hopefully you guys can reap the benefits of it just as well with my um, looser watercolors and I can at least share um, what I'm doing I mean like today today is a very very rough day for me and the pain is just unreal I mean I've taken my muscle relaxer as well today and I'd try not to do that but unless somebody suffers from chronic pain that it's very hard to explain very very hard so this is kind of the style I'm going to be doing for the series just some whimsical loose watercolors whatever comes out most of the time I don't sketch anything out beforehand um, so it just kind of is what it is and what comes out comes out and I, I hope it conveys well I hope it can continue um, if it seems like it's not working well then I'll stop doing them and I'll just sit here and bide my time um, with the camera off so. okay guys so that's about what it's gonna be just some really loose carefree um, watercolors um, markers coloring um, just some basic art nothing that um, probably no like card um, tutorials or anything like that that I would rather explain what I'm doing but just something that you can sit back and maybe relax and watch or laugh knowing what's going on behind the camera <laughs> as I do these so okay guys well I will hop off of here for now and I'm just gonna continue to play with the bookmark here and we will see you with the first episode. Take care, guys. Thanks for being here. Thank you for all your support. Thank you for our new subscribers. It, it truly means a lot. And your kind words you leave in the comments. It truly, truly means a lot from each and every one of you. So until later, take care, guys. And we will talk to you then. Bye-bye.